This is our servo motor system we'll be working with most of the semester. The servo motor is here. The tachometer is here for measuring the speed. There's a direct axis here and a cross axis here. We have a potentiometer for measuring the cross axis position. And then we have a big blue box for providing servo motor amplifiers and the control mechanism. picture on the front shows the output potentiometer, the 30 to 1 gearbox, the TACO generator or tachometer measuring the direct axis, the servo motor, and the amplifier that drives the servo motor, the position gain, and the feedback velocity gain, another amplifier, and controllers. This demonstration will show a position control system using position feedback set to maximum and velocity feedback set to maximum. As I change the control signal, the motor responds and because I have maximum gain on both velocity and position feedback, it's very responsive. If I decrease the velocity feedback, we see that there's quite a bit of overshoot. That's what the velocity feedback does. It minimizes the overshoot. It adds damping to the mechanical system. And if I decrease the position feedback, it becomes very sluggish. This particular configuration demonstrates what's in store for the entire semester. We will have five or six labs on this system. One lab will be devoted to the transfer function of the TACO generator or tachometer. Another lab will be determining the transfer function of the servo motor. Another lab will be determining the transfer function of the potentiometer. And then toward the end of the semester we'll be able to design those feedback gains that control this electromechanical system to the desired performance specifications. Laplace transforms, MATLAB, engineering control theory, all of those are required to have an engineering level understanding of this electromechanical system.